Welcome to my channel, your tutor Mariam is here. It's the 41st video of Introductory Physics 1 and the third video I'm going to talk about the laws of motion. That is the fifth subject of Introductory Physics 1. In the last video I talked about the Newton's law and in this video I'm going to solve uh, an example. If you are new to Introductory Physics 1 and like to learn more, hit the subscribe button and like for more. You ready? Let's get started. In this problem, I have an object with a mass of 2 kilograms and velocity of 4i. After 5 seconds, velocity reached to 6i and 10j meter per second. And then I need to find the force and magnitude of that force. Let me write down what I have. So my mass here is 2 kilograms. My initial velocity is 4i and then my final velocity is going to be 6i plus 10j and I'm looking for force. These i and j here are unit vectors and they telling me my initial velocity is only in x direction and my final velocity is in x and y direction. In chapter 3, I talk about this concept and I solve a couple of examples. I'm gonna put the link below. Feel free to watch them. Getting back to this question, f is equal to ma, right? And here I need to find the acceleration. Acceleration is vf minus vi divided by t, right? What I have here for velocity is like my initial velocity is in the x direction because the unit vector is i, so that's going to be my vi, which is 4i, right? This i means initial velocity, this i means uh, unit vector. My final velocity though is like I have 6i, like is in the x direction, and then 10j, it's in the y direction. That's what I have as vf, right? And as I mentioned in chapter 3, you are allowed to subtract at x direction together, like these two together, and y direction together. So this guy has a y direction as 10, but this guy doesn't have any y direction. Right here is like calculate the acceleration in x axis, y axis, and then find the magnitude of acceleration and then find the force. Let me show you how I can do that. So, here my acceleration in x direction gonna be a. That is in x direction. I'm going to show it as x because I don't want to make you confused with this x right here and this i here. So let's say call it as x. So in x direction, I have a velocity with 6. And then my initial one is 4. And then time is 5 seconds, right? So it's going to be 2 over 5, which is equal to 0.5 meter per second square. That's going to be the acceleration in x direction. Also, I need to find the acceleration in y direction, right? So my a y here going to be 10 and my initial velocity in y direction is 0, right? Because there is no velocity here in y direction. And then time going to be 5 seconds. Right. So in y direction, my acceleration is going to be 2 meter per second squared. Right. Now I have acceleration in x and y directions. So I can find the magnitude. So to find the magnitude of acceleration, I need to add a square of ax and a y. So that's going to be 0.4 a square plus 2 a square and then 2 meter per second a square. So now I have acceleration and I can find the force. 
So force gonna be M times A. My mass gonna be two kilograms. My acceleration is two. And then force gonna be four newtons. So what I just found is the total force, right? What about if I wanna solve the component of force? Like Fx and Fy. My Fx is equal to M times Ax, right? Mass is two kilograms. And then my Ax is equal to 2.4, right? So my force gonna be 0.8 newtons right and fy gonna be two kilograms times two because acceleration here is two and then force gonna be four newtons there is another way you can find the total force here is like taking the magnitude of force like here you have fx fy and then you can take the magnitude and you must end up with the same answer with this. Let's do that. So I found Fx as 0.A, Fy as 4 newtons. So my F total, the magnitude, gonna be Fx square plus Fy square, and then take the square root of that, correct? So that's gonna be 4 square plus 0.8 square. If I do the math, then it's going to be 4 newtons, right? So I guess what I'm trying to tell here is like this problem has two solutions. So solution one is like you can find the component of acceleration like Ax, Ay, and then find the magnitude of acceleration like A as uh, Ax square a y square and then find the total force based on this uh, total acceleration that's the one thing you can do and then the second solution can be based on a x and a y you can find f x which is equal to m a x and then f y gonna be m a y right and then find the magnitude of f which gives us the f total right like that so it's going to be f total i hope this video helped you to understand these subjects better if you like my video hit the like button and i'll see you in the next video